Welcome to Petromech. Let's understand EPC versus EPCM. Many a times people working in the core sector projects are encountered with two terminologies EPC and EPCM. And many a times the actual difference is not known to many. While there are resemblances in them, there are many differentiators between the two. Let us understand EPC and EPCM in details. EPC stands for Engineering, Procurement and Construction. EPC is basically a contract that is provided in a project which will have construction activities involved and the contractor who is awarded with the EPC contract usually takes the responsibility of all E, P and C activities which includes design, engineering, procurement of materials, construction, commissioning and finally handing over the plant to the end user or customer. EPC projects are many a times referred to as turnkey project because the contractor delivers the project in a ready to use state for the client. So turning the key that is turning the plant on. So we can remember in this way as turnkey project. So in EPC engineering is the phase where contractor have undertaken the complete design and engineering of project activities. In the procurement stage, the contractor will be responsible for procuring all equipment, materials, services that will be required for the completion of project. And finally, the commissioning and handover stage where the contractor will be commissioning the facility and making sure that it is fully operational before officially handing over to the customer. So when are EPC contracts done? Clients usually prefer EPC contract when they want the transfer of risk and responsibility to a single competent authority who has the experience of executing similar EPC contracts. Now let us see what is EPCM. EPCM stands for Engineering Procurement and Construction Management. EPCM is basically a type of contract wherein the contractor is responsible for managing the design, procurement and construction and processes on behalf of the customer but do not actually get involved in the actual construction phase of the project. Instead, EPCM contractor acts as a project mediator to oversee the works carried out by various other subcontractors involved in the project. The key characteristics of an EPCM contract are in the engineering phase, the EPCM contractor provides engineering and design services. In the procurement stage, the EPCM contractor is responsible for managing the materials, equipment, service, engineering that is required for the project. Construction management refers to the construction processes and coordinating with the subcontractor very closely to ensure the project is aligned with the schedule, cost and quality requirements. So in an EPCM contract, the client retains more control and flexibility over the project but do take more risk over EPC as the construction in this case is done by a third party EPCM contractor. Confused with EPC and EPCM project framework? Here's a quick synopsis to make you remember forever. EPC, Engineering, Procurement and Construction. Here the contractor is whole and sole responsible for the project from design through completion till handover to the customer. It's a turnkey solution with the contractor being at more risk but overall control over the project life cycle. On the other hand, EPCM that is engineering, procurement and construction management, the contractor manages the project on behalf of customer overseeing design, procurement and construction management activities without getting involved in the construction work. So in this EPCM model, client has a better control but takes more risk. So now you can understand that both contracting models EPC and EPCM comes with their own advantages and disadvantages. 
and are chosen based on client requirements nature of the work complexity of the job and the involvement of project management process in a whole i hope you have understood the basic concepts of epc and epcm stay tuned to our channel